are on the biggest aircraft of the Technum fleet, B-2012 Traveller. How is this airplane certified? We're here in the B-2012 Traveller that uh, a couple of months ago achieved the EASA certification. So Technum basically is getting ready for the first deliveries and uh, for the whole program that is supposed to go ahead in 2019. Yeah, behind us the P-92 Echo, uh, the aircraft I got my license with. So what is new about this one? So the, the new P-92 that now is called P-92 Echo MK-2, that basically is the story of Technum and uh, that brought us where we are right now, so it's the base of our success. It's a complete leader style and uh, we have a carbon fiber fuselage. We kept the classic wing of the P-92, especially the one of the eaglet. So the one we have is sold right here is the wing of the P-92 eaglet. We have the, the elevator, the wing, the main landing gear and uh, the rudder as well that are in completely in aluminum alloy. We just completely redesigned the entire fuselage and now we have a carbon fiber fuselage with some very good lines. And also we equip the, the aircraft with uh, two kind of version, actually three. We do have a standard one with the classic analog instrument, we do have a six-pack version, and we do also have a, the latest technology, so we do install the Garmin G3X Touch as the glass cockpit version. Is it still the uh, ideal plane for people who decided to become a pilot for flying schools? Absolutely. The P-92 will be uh, and will always be the best plane uh, for, for beginners, for pilots and uh, for trainers uh, the, so we're gonna even if we change the fuselage the p92 will always have uh, its flight characteristics as in 1992 from the inside of the p92 we can start noticing that the space are changed a lot compared to the old version of the p92 series so in um, the, the cabin is wider and higher and uh, also the layout of, of the cockpit uh, bring us again in 2019. So I think a restyle of this aircraft was needed, especially because as I was saying before, this was one of our masterpieces that, that uh, lead take them to where we are right now. As we can see from inside, we do have the latest avionic from Garmin, so two G3X. Uh, we do have integrated uh, GTX 35, the transponder that is remoted. Uh, the audio panel and the GTR 200. Uh, the aircraft is, is going to be simple to fly as a P92, so we're going to keep all the characteristics as the other models, absolutely. Something changed, especially in the comfort, and uh, some other optionals were added in the, certain in the standard configuration, like the tow brakes and the central console. And uh, so, yeah, I think these are the main, ca the main things that we can talk right now, that we can uh, say today about the P92. And as soon as we're going to fly, we're going to have some more comments to add. Are there other news here uh, on the show uh, 2019? Uh, yes, we do have a lot of news. Apart the P92, we do have um, uh, the, the, P9, the P2002 Sierra MK2 in the 600 class category. And uh, we do also have the P2002 JF that, uh, that we're working on the certification. And uh, we, we guess it's going to be certified by next year, so in 2020. And it's going to be certified uh, CS23, so fully IFR certified. And this is going to change, in my mind, the whole training, uh, uh, because basically what you're going to be able to do is going to be to do the whole training from PPL up to the IFR rating in an aircraft that has the cost of an LSA of a, or, or a CSVLA. And it's the one behind us that after we can give a look at, and it's equipped uh, with the G500 TXI and the GDU700 plus the GTN that is interfaced with the, with the G500 in order to display all the information related for the, for the IFR training, so all the approaches and all the pattern assessment.